Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my favorite video to film, a deck of panning update. Uh, this is my fourth update? Yes, fourth update. Um, so I have everything pulled up, the game board, all my products that I'll go through. I have two things to roll out this time, so not as good as last time, but that's because I have more products that I am intending to use up entirely than I had before. So if you don't know, this project was created by Emily and Max, and she was inspired by Books with Maddie. I always leave her how-to and intro video below and um, a link to the game board if you want to see it. It changes every month, so I never really bother putting it on the screen because it's only going to look like that at the time that I film. So if you want to see it for yourself while I'm doing this, there's a link in the description box. So let's just get into it. I have to put my glasses on, but I wanted to show my makeup because I finally used my, um, in my Pando's eyeshadows project, the blue shade from the Nikki Tutorials palette. I finally found a way to use it and I'm really happy about how it came out. I love this. This shade on my lid is also from that palette but anyway that's not what this video is about but I felt like <laughs> when I put my glasses on you can't see my makeup anymore so that's not fun but I won't be able to see my screen unless I have them on. So the first product that I am actually rolling out is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. I have the shade 2. Um, so I actually rolled this in for the Joker, not last update but the one before I think. And I have actually used this 15 times which is five times more than my goal was. So um, unless I have a use up goal, pretty much everything in this project is a 10 use goal because I don't wear makeup every day. If I don't make it a 10 use goal, this project would never have any movement. So there would be no point to film videos <laughs> because it would just be the same products all the time. So that's the story with that. But I ended up using this 15 times and that's because I found that I loved pairing it with another product in this project, my Physician's Formula BB Cream. So that's what I'm wearing today and I've pretty much been wearing this like every time I've done my makeup lately because I am still trying to finish this up. So this is actually the next product but like I said I will be rolling this out. Um, because I, I don't know, because I'm never gonna, like, use up this whole thing. Because I only use this on the high points of my cheeks. I put some here, um, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and a bit on my chin. And then I mix it with this product. So I don't use this all over my face like I thought I might want to, because it just gives too much of, like, a metallic effect that way but I did end up really loving this product I hate the packaging <laughs> let's not mention that again but yeah even though I rolled this in for the Joker I found that I actually really liked using it but I still don't think I will ever like pan this product unless I start using it as my foundation so the next product that I still have and it's not even done yet is the Physician's Formula BB Cream. So <laughs> I don't, yeah, you can see here. So this window used to be like the color of the shade of the product, but I thought this whole time that was just like the packaging, like it was showing you a sticker of what the shade is. But that is actually a window of the product and so this whole time the product has actually been above there and then the last time I used it it went down and I was like oh <laughs> so 
I actually have even more product in here than I thought. I thought it was going to be done this like two months ago, but no, it's still going. I use it again today and I still have some in there. But now I can see like this whole bottom is still full of product. So hopefully it'll be gone by the next update, but I honestly don't even know now. Because I feel like I don't use a lot of this. Like I use like maybe like a little more than a pea size amount because it's very thick and I kind of just like a sheer application of this. Plus I mix it with this so I don't want to put too much product on my face. But we'll see if I end up finishing this by next update. I hope so. So my goal is obviously to use this up and it's still in this project. The next product that I had a use up goal is my Bosha Pore Affecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. So if you guys are new here, I have dry skin. I have no business using a mattifying treatment primer, <laughs> but I found that I did like it on my pores, like especially around my nose here, which I mean, it's always red because of my glasses, but that's how I've been using it. I've been putting a bit on my chin also because I find that my pores are a bit enlarged there too. But I don't know how I feel about this. I thought I liked it at first because it looked okay under this product, which I was trying to use up, but it's very finicky. Like some days it looks okay. Sometimes I can see in the exact area that I applied this that my like base product is not sticking or it's like breaking up in that area. So even though this is a primer, I feel like I'm not gonna continue using it as a makeup primer, but I will use it as a skincare product. Um, because it is supposed to be good for like your pores or whatever. So I think I'll just keep using it kind of like a pore treatment. Um, but I'm not going to use it as a primer because I, I actually did try once to use this all over my face just to see and it really did not look good. My skin was like scaly and dry because whatever is in here actually like absorbs any excess oil and I already have like no oil <laughs> in my skin so yeah this I'll just keep using as a targeted pore treatment but not as a makeup primer um but I still intend to use it up honestly it feel it still feels heavy and I can't squeeze like any air out of this without the product coming out so I'm pretty sure there's still a lot of product in here, so I don't know if this will be even used up by the next time, but I'm keeping this in. Honestly, if I get the veto, which is a prompt on the game board, I might veto this because I feel like I don't. I, I'm not excited to use it up, so I don't know, but I do need to get more primers out of my collection. The next product is the second thing I'm rolling out. It's my NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. Right? Yeah. Nude Beige. So I used this 11 times. I only meant to use a 10 but I actually used it again today because I needed like a very neutral lip with this eye look. And I did end up sharpening it one time so I guess it shorter than it was before but it's still obviously a full size liner. Um, I really liked this. I feel like as a lip liner it's not deep enough for what I want to do with a shade like this but all over the lips with something on top it works. So I'll put this back in my collection but I did enjoy using it. Just not, it, like it doesn't give enough definition basically because the shade is very light. I'll give you a swatch. Well, it looks kind of deep in a swatch, but on the color of my lips, which are very like pigmented to begin with, it doesn't do much for me. But I like the formula, so that's that. The next product is my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. 
I've been forgetting to tell you the prompts. <laughs> so this was the Joker. Uh, the Physician's Formula is my oldest product in my uh, foundation category. The Bosha Primer was rolled in for my out of control category, which is primers. <laughs> amongst others, but I chose primers for that one. And then this was for the whole collection roulette. So actually out of like every product in my collection, I ended up rolling this in. So that was fun. I got a lot of use out of it. Um, and then, so the Tatcha Dewey Skin Mist, the prompt was glowy. So this is a very, very glowy spray, which is why I think I still have it in this project. But I am down to here and I actually haven't used it that much because since using these two products together I felt like my skin and something else that I'll mention my skin was already like super glowy and then I didn't really want to put this on top and make it even more glowy if that makes sense but I did end up using this 7 out of the 10 times, so this will definitely be rolled out by the next update. And I feel like the packaging is kind of deceiving. This is a mini size, and it seems like there's a lot of product in here, but I feel like every time I use it, it goes down by a lot. So, like I said, I only used it 7 times, and it's already down to here. So... I might just end up using this whole product instead of just 10 times, depending on where I end up with this. But that's staying in. Um, for the highlight prompt, I rolled in my Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust. I think I had rolled this in randomly with my Tiny Decisions app. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I just didn't know which highlighter to choose, but I'm so glad it was this one. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'm wearing it today. It's very, like, if you look at it really close, it's very sparkly. And I know some people don't like seeing, like, sparkles in their highlighter. But because it's so, there's so many fine sparkles and it has, like, I don't know, like a thick enough base that it, it kind of just looks really smooth and like wet on the skin. So I love this. I used it um, as a inner corner a lot too, which is why there's a little like dip here. Um, but yeah, I only used it four of the 10 times though. That seems low, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Well, it is a product that I just rolled in last update, but what else did I use then? I guess I, because I had used this one time, the highlighter and this trio and some, oh yeah, it's because in my shop, my stash, I have three highlighters and I was trying to use those too. So yeah, this only got four uses, but I love it and I'm glad it's staying in. So six more uses to go on this. This is the shade um, Pure Diamond Dust. Not that I guess it doesn't matter because I think this product doesn't exist anymore. Which is crazy to me because it's really good. Maybe they're gonna, they're just updating it maybe because Aether Beauty changed their name. Um, they just removed the E's so it's still Aether Beauty, it's just spelled differently. So I guess they're redoing all their packaging and stuff. So I really hope this comes back because it's great. And then the last thing is what I just pulled up before. This was for the prompt this time last year because it just happened that the day that I filmed my update, that same date last year, well the year before, yeah, last year, I had bought this at Sephora. So this is the Kaja Play Bento Blush and Bronzer, Blush Bronzer Highlighter trio something like that I don't know and it's in the shade 01 butter up so I think there's three of these now this is the lightest one so there's a blush which is really pretty it's a bit muted for me as a blush at least in spring 
In summer, I like a more like vibrant blush, but I did use it a few times and I liked it. I also really like this highlighter. It has a bit of a pink undertone. It's really pretty. But this is the product I was really focusing on. Um, the, the bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. As you can see, it has a lot of wear on it. I've been using this tons. And I really love using this. It blends out super easily. And I really like the shade. It gives like a warmth to my skin but without being too like orange. So I've been loving this. And it's all like mangled because I really like using this with a stippling brush. So every time I use it, I like stab the brush. Um, I stab the pen <laughs> a lot. So yeah, there's a lot of use on this, but I don't really know if I hit pan on it, if I kept, I don't know, because I actually use this eight times, so I technically only have two more uses on this. So I don't think I'm going to hit pan, but I'm definitely making a lot of progress with this. So yeah, happy to keep this in two more times. I probably will actually only use it 10 times because I have other cream bronzers I like to rotate. So yeah, so that was everything. Like I said, I'm rolling out my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and my NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. So I have the game board pulled up. And the game board gets updated on the 10th of every month. Today is the 19th, so I'm actually early <laughs> filming this for once. But that's because I'm going away this weekend and I wanted to have some videos to post. So yeah, let's just get into it. So as usual, I have my Dragon Ball Z cards. And I have to take out one of the jokers because there is two jokers in this deck. So took out this joker and just gonna shuffle. Shuffling. I don't know how to do <laughs> that thing. I think that's good. So, I'm scared. First card. No! <laughs> I think it's the curse of the aces again. <sighs> oh my god. So, I already know what this card is because I always get it. The ace in the clubs or the spades is always add another product. And this keeps happening to me. Okay, so that means I have to pull two more cards. Okay, why do I do this? Okay, I really hope this next one isn't the other ace because that's what happened two times now. Okay, so this is my first of the two that I'm replacing this with. Okay, good. <laughs> eight of diamonds. The eight of diamonds is something a friend is panning. Okay. I don't have any like real life friends that pan makeup as far as I know. So I think I'll just go and look probably at like Emily's videos or um, it's just Steph, other people that are doing this um, project and see what they're panning. So that's one of two. Right? I think I'm doing this right. Yeah. Jack of Clubs. Random color generator. Oh, that's exciting. I never got that prompt before. Okay. So that was the two for this one. So now just one more, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I meant to just take this one, the top card. Three of diamonds. I know you guys can't even really see 
<laughs> what these cards are, but I'm not lying. So three of diamonds is SPF. Yes, I need to start panning my SPFs. I already know what I'm gonna choose for that one because I'm pretty sure it's expired already. Okay, this was a really fun update. So I will choose those products. Yeah, and figure out how to do the random color generator. I think it's an app. So I'll have to get an app and do that. And I'll do that on camera so you can see. But yeah, so this is fun. Okay, so I'll be back with the products. Okay, I'm back. I have my products. It was actually really easy <laughs> to choose. Well, I have two and then we'll do the random color generator. Um, okay, so for SPF, I am going to try and use up my Drunk Elephant Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. So this is like a glowy sunscreen product. I have been actually using it, but not as I should, like not every day for sure. And it, it is expired. <laughs> Um, it has an expiry date on here that I just noticed. It actually expired in 2020. <laughs> okay, so I guess that means like it's not even SPF anymore. It's just like a glowy primer. I don't know, but it doesn't smell weird and it has not been like any different on my face than it was when I first got it. Like the formula is fine. So I'm just gonna keep using it. Um, but yeah, I won't rely on this for my sunscreen, <laughs> but I'm just gonna try and use it up. So as you can see, I'm about like halfway done. So this should take me probably all summer. <laughs> I'll take this with me on my little trip this weekend, although I don't know if I'm gonna feel like wearing this, but I probably should if we're gonna be outside. But yeah, I will try and use this up. Um, and then for the pro product a friend is panning, I went to Emily's whole collection project pan video and I saw she was panning the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade lip gloss in the shade Peach Tea. So um, I thought this would be perfect because I'm pretty sure It's Just Steph was also panning this at one point. I'm not sure if she finished hers or not. But yeah, those are the two people I thought of because those are like the project panners I watch the most. So yeah, this is perfect because I also have the same lip gloss. Um, it looks like no. I was gonna say, is there some windowing? <laughs> Not really. I think I've only used this a handful of times, to be honest, but I remember really liking it. It still smells good. It has a nice like paddle applicator, and it's just like a really nice pinky toned lip gloss that I'm sure will be really easy to use. So I'm gonna try and use this 10 times. I'm sure that's going to be super easy and I'll probably take this with me this weekend also. So for the color generator, I got this app, Random Color Generator, and I think what you do is you just tap the screen and it gives you a color. So let's see, <laughs> my lighting is a bit off, so hopefully this works. I'll take a screenshot of the color, probably that's easier. So I think you do this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you really can't see that. Maybe if you turn this light on. Or no, like this. So it's blue. <laughs> oh no, it's like a bright blue shade. I don't wanna work on any other blue eyeshadows to be honest, so I think I'm going to look for something with a blue packaging. I think I'm allowed to do that. So I'm going to take a screenshot of the color and try and find a packaging with that shade and I will be back. Okay, that was actually not um, 
hard either. Um, so you can't really see again because it's so cloudy out and it's 6.30 p.m. Um, but this is blue, if you can see. So at first I looked at my primers again and the only one I had like that could be this kind of color was my Benefit Professional Mini. But I was like, I'm not gonna use this since I am trying to use up this pore primer. Even though I said I'm not gonna use this as a makeup primer, I'm still gonna use this as skincare. So I'm not gonna wanna put this on top. So I found something else that is was actually in my Shop My Stash and I'm actually wearing it today. It's the Tarte, um, what were these called? Color Splash Lipstick? Yeah, Color Splash Lipstick in Rum Punch. So I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but it's actually very close match. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited about this because this is such an easy lip color to use. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. It's like a peachy brown nude. Um, it's quite light, but I can use it with any lip liner. And that's all that's in here. So this is just a mini lipstick and I've actually used it a few times already. Was this in a project before? No, I thought this might have been in my project pan last year, but that was Too Faced Sex on the Peach, so I'm sure I didn't have two new lipsticks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this 10 times and then see how it's looking. So yeah, I think this is good because now I have two lip products in this project um, a lipstick and a gloss and I can actually use these together probably and then this I'll try and finish at least until I mean if it goes off or something I'll stop but so far it's still looking fine and I kind of like how it looks on the skin sometimes I wear this just by itself and like no other makeup so <laughs> yeah we'll see what happens and that's it. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know if you're doing this project also below and um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!